Welcome, welcome! It's my dog with the Texas Space Navy, bringing you another Star Citizen video. And I thought I would revisit Klesher Prison. No, I, I didn't get here on purpose. Uh, but I did end up here, and I thought, well, you know, I heard something in one of the last couple of Inside Star Citizens about their putting in another escape route in Klesher Prison for 311. Now, I have not heard or seen a single video or article on this second escape route. So, I thought I would jaunt off into the mines hoping that maybe I could find it in the mines. Because there's a lot of different cave systems at the end of the mine shafts that could lead to an escape route if you're lucky enough to find one. Or maybe the escape route lies in the same place it was. Or maybe it lies down here. It, who knows? I, I don't know. I have not discovered it. Have you discovered it? If you have, please let me know in the comments down below. Or if I'm off base and misunderstood what they were saying, or maybe they changed what they were saying, let me know down below as well, because I do think that that's a definite possibility, because I can tell you, I am still searching for this escape route. So as you can see, I went down all three tunnels here in the mine shaft looking for this escape route. Now, I will say that one little jaunt got cut short because of a 30K, but I went through the cave system afterwards and could not find any sign of an escape route. Just putting that out there. Uh, and another one will cut short because of a video error. So I could tell you on that one, I did not find an escape route either. So that'll lead the third one, which you're probably asking, why are you showing me all three of these? Well, because it's pretty cool that you can actually see most of each route in its entirety here and find out that there's not much to see. Plus, you know, it's kind of cool to have a split screen every once in a while, right? So, yes, I've been looking for this escape route. I don't know how many of you have been looking for it. I know there's been a few people in my org that have mentioned remembering hearing that there was going to be a second escape route. And I do remember when they first put Klesher Prison in, they were saying there was going to be multiple ways out of there. Do you guys remember that? I remember it. They did say they were going to enhance prison gameplay for 311, I don't know if that means just with the mining situation where you can buy more commodities and whatnot to help you, uh, you know, trade your merits in for better mining tools or anything like that, because I didn't attempt to do that. Uh, I haven't actually been in prison in quite some time, so I haven't enjoyed the fruits of CIG's labor in the prison gameplay mechanic. And I will say that I do get out of prison sometime after this video and I have not gone back but maybe there's something there for me uh, also by the way when you click on these oxygen sensors you have to click again to refill your oxygen uh, I do believe on this top section here I did not do that or I did do that and it did not work because of server issues so yeah there is that. Make sure you top off your oxygen every time you get a chance when you're in those tunnels. It'll definitely uh, pay off for you in the long run. In each one of these tunnels, there are these oxygen replenishment stations. So there's definitely plenty of opportunities to fill up on oxygen as you're running around down there. Now, once you get into the cave system itself, there are, of course, no oxygen replenishment systems there. So you're kind of on your own whether you one of three things you could perish with no oxygen you could find a way out maybe or you would have to turn around and come back and try to replenish your oxygen some more on your trip back to the main trading area now there are plenty 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 of mineable rocks all throughout this system and even into the cave system itself there's lots of mineable rocks in there as well so if you just want to do a lot of mining so you can get your sentence down uh, that's definitely a possibility in these mines there's plenty to mine uh, 
in the future, you know, obviously this might be a good way to do it sometimes. I mean, if you're, you're like me and you'd rather not have to deal with the crime stat and waiting, you know, sitting it out, yeah, you just log out and log back in the next day and you're good to go. That's pretty viable right now. So while you're watching my run through the mine systems, how about you let me know in the comments down below if you actually like this type of gameplay where they have these little secret tunnels or escapes or, you know, this little back way in or out of different facilities. Would you like to see this throughout more of the verse? I can tell you Grim Hex has a back door, so to speak, that you can enter. Uh, I Levski, not really, because, you know, kind of leads to the, you know, uh, vehicle pads and stuff. So, <clears throat> yeah, kind of, kind of not really. I mean, there's got to be a few others out there, but those two are probably the biggest two, Klesher and uh, Grim Hex. Uh, would you like to see more of those somewhere? Would you like maybe to see, like, a facility... You know, maybe an outpost somewhere that has a mine shaft that uh, you could take an elevator down into the mines, and maybe if you go far enough, you're able to find a way back to the surface, or vice versa, you can find a way to the outpost through the mine shaft or through a cave system that leads to the mine shaft that uh, takes you up the elevator. That would be pretty cool to me, especially if you could make an op or something out of it. Uh, that would be pretty neat. Maybe have some bad guys in the mines uh, you know, with mining lasers or real guns or whatever that could be really cool especially you know that play in the dark I, I think that would be fun uh, what do you guys think let me know in the comments I know I've asked you to let me know a lot of things in the comments but hey there's diversity of this video at least in the comments section right so definitely state your opinions down there I am looking forward to hearing it and it, it, you know when you guys leave comments and stuff, sometimes it leads me to other ideas for videos. So it can definitely be very useful and very helpful. So that's why I like it when you guys leave comments. And I do try to respond to a good portion of them. I can't get to all the comments all the time. Sometimes I just give it a little thumbs up, you know, for acknowledgement. I, I should probably start using the heart button. Uh, I don't know why I don't use the heart button. Uh, I just. I've always used the thumbs up button, but I think with the heart button, you can actually tell who's giving you the love, so to speak. So maybe I'll start doing that. So we're getting pretty close to the end of the road on the top video there, which was my first run and the one that actually 30 Ks. As you can see, I am entering the cave system finally here and the 30 K hits right about now. Uh, so, unfortunately, nothing found there, not just because of 30k, but I even went back in there and there just wasn't, uh, I, I, you know, you go around in circles in those caves for a long time, uh, you know, I, I try to explore them very deep into them, I've been all in and out of those caves multiple times, and I've not found an exit yet. As you can see now in the new top video, now I'm entering the cave system there. <clears throat> and let me tell you, before we even go too much further, I didn't find an exit in that one either. It's unfortunate, but uh, sadly, I have not found an exit out of any of the caves from the mining systems. Again, if you found it, let me know because I'm eager to find out. I have not seen a single one. You know, I would have loved to have said something like, Oh yes, I found an exit. But I'm not going to show you. You're going to have to find it for yourself. Boy, would that be clickbaity. Sadly, I, I, I'm i not that big of a, a YouTube jerk. <laughs> I'm not going to clickbait you like that. I did not find an exit. But I am still looking. Uh, next time I'm in prison, I will actually explore a couple of other scenarios. Whether it be below the main area where the Habs are. Uh, or below the scaffolding that leads to the mining tunnels, or in fits directly through the, the fan escape like uh, all the others, or like the other escape. Maybe it's just in a different spot. I, I just can't fathom that one. You know, unless it leads to a cave somewhere, that's the thing. I just, I, I can't fathom it. I don't know if there's any caves even around Klesher Prison in that vicinity. Uh, 
uh, maybe you guys know, I don't know. I haven't seen one. Of course, I haven't really looked that hard, but my guess is there's not really a cave system there unless they added one for 311 and connected it to, you know, the vent somehow or the, the escape route somehow. But I'm not sold on it. And then what, what are you going to do when you get to the surface? Let, let me ask that because you're not going to have a rover to jump in to keep yourself protected from the elements. You'll have to have a ride. Somebody's going to have to pick you up. Well, they're going to have to know where to go, right? Because they can't just, you know, yeah, no. Uh, I mean, you would have to say, hey, I'm over here. And then you got like five minutes to live. Yeah, not a good scenario whatsoever. So I, I just don't know where they would put this second exit and how viable it's going to be when you get to the surface. I would think that it, you would perish fairly quickly in your prison mining suit here because it just does not, it's not heat tolerable. It doesn't handle Aberdeen's uh, atmosphere very well at all. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm deep into the cave system in both the top and the bottom videos. And like I said, sadly, we're not going to find anything here. Well, we may find some things, but as far as I can tell, it's not anything of use. Now, I realize the lighting on this is pretty low, so uh, I'm not going to make you watch the entire thing. So I want to take a moment to thank everybody who's been watching my videos. You guys are awesome. Thank you to all my subscribers and all my Patreons. You guys are lifesavers, literally lifesavers. I hopefully I will tomorrow start filming some Patreon only videos that I would like, uh, you know, you guys' input on eventually. So hopefully I'll be able to get one or two of those out in addition to my normal daily video. And uh, hopefully that all goes well and everybody will be happy. At least I'll give the Patreons something. Uh, and, you know, I, I need to do the same thing for YouTube videos in the future as well. So maybe we'll do, maybe I'll tie them together somehow. We'll see. Uh, but once again, thank you guys. Uh, I'm almost to 400 members in my org. So if you guys are interested in joining the Texas Space Navy or Texas, definitely use that link in the description of the video. Get us over that number if you're interested in joining an active org with a lot of cool folks. I mean, we have people that mine every single morning together. Like, it's a, it's a mining crew. It's pretty cool. Uh, we've got people that want to do, you know, mining ops certain evenings, like bigger ops. We, we do our org ops on Saturday nights, usually. Um, lo lots of different activity going on all the time in the org so we're definitely looking for folks that want to participate want to join in if you're a newbie and you want to learn the guys are very patient and they're definitely willing to teach people how to play the game or how to do certain things so don't be scared if you're a noob and you're you know you just want some some help and you want to join the guys uh, for some camaraderie and to learn how to play the game but once again, I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy, and I'll see you out in the verse.